What's going on you guys? Welcome to another episode of JNB Tuning. Well guys, it's been long overdue. I haven't had a chance to actually do the installation here for you for the Golf R EQT. Have the upgrade for version uh, 2.63 for the Golf R and I have received this file six months ago but I haven't had the chance to actually install it. Um, so this time we're trying to install it and uh, just to run by you exactly what this uh, new version is all about, the 2.63 version uh, for our ECU tune. Uh, there is the verbal revisement on the OEM European style kind of verbal. It's less aggressive below 4000 RPM, but there's an increase in the aggressiveness of the burbles above the 4000 range. So as you go up the rev range, it's just going to be even more immensely aggressive. Also, there's a the verbal tuning refinement. It's mainly to prevent some hanging at the part throttle type of operation there. Also, the, in terms of the boost profile, they have also revised slightly for high elevation operations, much like where I'm at right now. I'm pretty high in the elevation, so this is going to be helpful for me uh, to gain more boost in that sense. Uh, default cub launch control uh, has also been revised and that uh, to make more boosts on launch. So that's going to be awesome, guys. And there's some miscellaneous cleanup, as always as any software companies out there providing softwares definitely would provide little cleanup here and there. So today I've been talking to Cliff pretty much. Um, just wanted to make sure that uh, there's no issues with the file I've gotten with, from them. Um, as you guys can see on the website here, uh, it basically says that the, um, the, the, the 2.63 version of the upgrade is only for, you know, 2019 plus R's, as you can see at the at the end there. It's, it's basically saying that, and uh, my car is 2018. And at the bottom here, it says uh, 2.62. It is for 2015, 2018 R. And uh, yeah, and they have sent me the version 3. Point, sorry, 2.63. And at first I was thinking, did they send me the, send me again the wrong one? So anyways, uh, I have confirmed with, with Cliff that they did send me the proper one. Uh, they will do some revision on this, the way they have been wording this thing over here. But uh, technically, that's the only uh, discrepancy there that I, I thought that uh, had the wrong file type deal. So anyways, I just want to mention that in the process. First order of business, guys, I just wanted to make sure that I plug this baby in and on the trickle charge because we don't want to run out of battery while we're doing this. I know I have a pretty good battery on this on this car, but just in case, I would like to make sure that we have full charge while we're doing this, basically. It's just a preventative, preventative measure there, guys. sure I don't scratch anything in the process always positive in first and then negative last and then when you're removing it you negative first take the negative out first and then the positive last first in first out all right guys we're now inside the car so the first order of business inside the car here mainly is to do a few things. Um, obviously, we'll do power on. Power the car on. Get our infotainment on as well. Um, first thing we need to do is make sure that we turn off our Bluetooth connectivity here. Um, system settings. Display time. Safety. Bluetooth. Make sure that that's off because sometimes it is finicky having that on. Um, as you can see, I just turned it off. The next thing that uh, we need to do is that keep our keys in the car at all times. Leave it here, so don't touch it. So that way if you leave, you don't forget that you have it with you. Keep Always keep it inside the car. Uh, second, uh, or the next one is make sure that our 
you know, any of our lights or whatnot just turned off any connections to anything that's plugged in take it off for now so that way it's not drawing too much uh, energy even though we have our uh, the ba battery tender there might as well just you know making sure that we don't have anything drawing any more power in the process and now that we have our uh, car powered on might as well power on our car box of sport as well in the process Maybe open my window so I have a bit of air coming in here because I'm going to be sitting here for a while. And uh, until that loads, uh, the next step would be is to go down to the tunes, say OK, and then we should have our ECU upgrade, upgraded version here now. So adjustment, change DSG map, change e ECU map. That's exactly what we're looking for. So all that file I've already downloaded into the cab access board. So we got our 93 octane 2.63. Uh, That's stage one. We are still in stage one, guys. As you notice, I also have stage two files in here. But we're not doing that because we're not stage 2 yet. We are only stage 1, 93 octane. And that's our 2.52 uh, that we installed before. And this is the one that we need to install right here. So stage 1, that's the one we need to flush. Click on that. It's basically telling me to make sure that the battery is connected. Okay. Just turn off headlights. I did that already. Climb control, all turned off. In the process as you guys can see that's the other thing uh, make sure that it's off our AC and everything as well that's already been turned off and then and before proceeding continue without a charger may drain your battery I have the battery charger there and everything so uh, don't leave the car obviously in the process so I'll just continue Let's see what happens here. Please wait while the access port is generating the vehicle data. So you guys can see. Yeah, it'll be interesting on how the verbal verbal sound is now going forward. It's going to be a lot more immense once we upgrade this thing. Here we go, it started now. There's gonna be a bunch of faults and all that coming up, but that's how it is basically. Just don't turn off the car. You're gonna get a bunch of warnings as usual. We're only at 8%. All right guys, 100%. We are just finishing up here now. It's now doing something else here. Clearing all the faults, I guess, in that sense. go please turn the ignition key to the off position and then turn the ignition key on the on position and immediately press the ok to continue hold on guys gotta do that because uh, now i have to let my hands a little free here in the process so let's uh turn off the key to the on pos off position and then basically turn the 
key again to the on position and immediately press the OK button. Change map successful. All right, let's turn the car off and leave it for about 15 seconds. Let's just open the garage here before we start. Okay, that should be enough, plenty of time. All right, it's all done guys. Just turn on our Bluetooth, back on. And then unhook our battery charger. It's making a lot of vibration there at the front. Anyways guys, just uh, stay tuned. Well now guys, we're now, we're now inside the car. Let's go for a drive. So right now I'm basically on the regular race mode with no sport turned on. So very simple, very subtle. So far, so good, guys. Seems pretty smooth so far. Car is driving pretty smooth overall, guys. Well, our oil temp and our coolant temperature is above the 80 mark now. We're around the 80, 90 mark now. So we'll put the car in sport mode. And uh, once I get out of the street here, and then we'll do a little bit of um, not a pull or anything. We just wanted to try it out and see where we're at with this new, new tune, new upgrade on the tune that is. It's just too much traffic at this point. Given it's a weekend, everybody is pretty much out and about. Wow, it's pretty smooth, guys. Big difference. I was on a manual shifting mode but I'm gonna try and go to the just a regular it feels way smoother than before I I'm, I could definitely feel that feels a lot more power Let's try and see the burble sound and see 
how that is at this point. Okay, now I'm sport mode. Second gear. So less saddle, that's for sure. It's just below 3,000 3, RPM. Let me head back here, turn around. All right, so let's just check and see. Yeah, it's a lot more saddle from the below the 3000 RPM on the second gear that is and if you go above that the burble how it sounds so far definitely a lot more crisp I believe I'll go back to manual mode here and shift on third so just the burble on berry saddle let me see if I go above the 4,000 RPM range. Look, feels pretty good, guys. Definitely a, an awesome improvement. I could definitely feel the car is a lot more smoother in many ways. I'm sure a lot of those bug fixes they've done, uh, shift points is just right. I'm definitely gonna do more testing here, guys, but uh, to close it off, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a soft pull for you guys and uh, just to see it in the manual mode and see how well this new tune is doing. I'm just gonna turn around here. Definitely the pops and bangs, they're a lot more saddle. Uh, I guess less annoying in that sense. So we'll give it a try here. There's just so much cars right now that I can't really do any 
Anyways, guys, let me find a good spot to do a bit of a soft lunch for you. I don't know if you guys can hear the pups and bangs. They're really nice. All right, guys, we're gonna try and do a soft lunch here in a bit and see how well this uh, new, new tune, new upgrade is. All right, guys, we'll do the soft lunch here. Nice, nice. Well, you know, I hear a bit of a whistling every time I do the lunch. I don't know if it's something to do with the bird of valve or anything like that. Um, let me know guys down down on the comment there if you guys are experiencing the same thing and if I do some lunch I could hear a bit of this high pitch sound coming from somewhere in the engine there so maybe the verta valve needs to be upgraded or um, along those lines so anyways guys it sounds pretty good um, I'm really liking it it sounds pretty smooth here again guys one more time Sweet! There you go, those are the burble sounds guys from different uh, RPM range. Anyways guys, again, stay tuned, peace out!